according to, the, to Republic, they are not polluting the river. The evidence says otherwise. Well, the evidence says otherwise. That's what Murfreesboro Mayor Shane McFarland says as the city council votes to file a federal lawsuit against Republic Services Incorporated and the owners and operators of the Middle Point landfill. News 2's Bob Mueller is in studio now to explain what this lawsuit actually means, Bob. Yeah, Alex, this is that federal lawsuit. It was filed after the city received over 2,000 complaints about the Middle Point landfill since it launched an online complaint portal just last September. Now, despite public assurance, from Republic, the odor remains, and it's not just the smell. In February, an outside consultant was brought in. Using infrared cameras, they found plumes of noxious gas coming from the landfill's gas flares. Now, the mayor said months before that, the EPA also found issues with the combustion system at the landfill. Before filing the lawsuit, the city tested discharge from river water in the Walter Hill Recreation Area and south of Matthews Lake in the East Fork Stones River. Not only was it contaminated with high organic leachage, the mayor also confirmed they found a second extremely toxic substance. That additional pollutant is a chemical known as PFAS. It was found in very high levels in the landfill leachate samples and in corresponding levels in both discharges to the Stones River. The PFAS chemicals present a new set of problems for the city to address, and the city is addressing it right now. And while the lawsuit is being addressed, the city will post signs in the Walter Hill Recreation Area warning boaters and swimmers not to drink the water there. They will also send notices to Republic, the EPA, and the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation, notifying them of the violations they found against the federal Clean Water and Air Acts. Republic has 60 days to clean up the discharge and the odor. Alex. Bob.